hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel civil learning online and today in this video i will be discussing about the second method which is regular falsi method of analysis of the nonlinear equation and the given equation is x to the power 4 minus x minus 10 is equal to 0 and before that i have added one more video based upon the bisection method of analysis of the nonlinear equation you can check it out for in the link for the link in the description and uh, without wasting time let's begin the solution and uh, i hope after watching this video we will, you will be able to solve any numericals related to regular falsi method and uh, so let's begin the solution and here for the solution you should remember one thing that the step or uh, first beginning of the um, regular falsi method is similar to bisection method and for that we have to take two random number and uh, after that after taking the two random number we have to put it in the equation and from there we will get two values of one will be positive and one will be negative and which will be our root and further we will be using them to solve the equation uh, step by step so uh, let's see if i take solution if i take f1 then what we will have is 1 to the power 4 minus 1 minus 10 this is going to be minus 10 f2 this is going to be 2 to the power 4 minus 2 minus 10 then this is going to be 4 and uh, this is less than 0 and this is greater than 0 and uh, for making the solution smaller means for decreasing the step of solving the equation we can take uh, two or two to three more points which lies between one and two suppose i take f 1.5 what we will have is 1 1.5 to the power 4 minus 1.5 minus 10 and this is going to be minus 6.43 which is less than 0 let me check keeping f 1.8 and for that i what we i will do is 1.8 to the power 4 minus 1.8 minus 10 and uh, here the solution is minus 1.3024 which is less than 0 now uh, what we have come to know that uh, here the our root will lies between 1.8 and 2 and you can simply solve solve this equation by taking 1 and 2 also but uh, for that you will need to do 2 to 3 steps more so I have taken I am going to take uh, this 2 and 1.8 and here uh, this is positive hello and this is giving us negative hello so our x1 will be x1 will be 1.8 and x2 will be 4 so now what I will do is first root of the equation lies between 1.8 and this is 2 so uh, i have taken 1 and 0.8 and 2 because you can see here all the other value gives us negative term and only 2 is the number which gives us positive value so i will be selecting one positive and one negative value and uh, here 2 is positive and 1.8 is negative so i have selected these two number you can take so solve by taking any number also to like 2 and 1.5 1 and 2 uh, 1.5 and 2 like any but you will have to take two number one is positive and one negative so here we have x1 and x2 so x3 will be given as x1 fx2 minus x2 fx1 by fx2 minus fx1 now put the value of this is the formula for uh, regular falsi method so now put the value of x1 and x1 is 1.8 into fx2 x2 is 2 and f2 is 4 
so this is going to be 4 minus x2 is 2 into fx1 x1 is 1.8 so fx1 is going to be minus 1.3024 by 4 minus minus 1.3024 and on solving this using calculator you will get x3 is equal to 1.8491 you have to take up to four decimal place okay so now find fx3 and for fx3 what we will need to do is we have to substitute the x by this term so this is going to be 1.8491 to the power 4 minus 1.8491 minus 10 and uh, here you will get that 0 0.1583 uh, which is less than 0 so uh, our second root second second root of the equation lies between now here we should remember one thing that we have got the upper limit that 2 2 is our upper limit means uh, uh, our root will not exceed the number 2 which is here our root will not exceed the number 2 and we have to take the number which is less than 2 so the, uh, our root will lies between 1.8491 and 2 and the equation will be given as fx4 is equal to x3 fx2 minus x2 fx3 by fx2 minus fx3 now put the value of x3 and we have the value of x3 which is given as 1.8491 which is here and uh, into fx2 and uh, fx2 is 4 see here x2 is 2 and fx2 is 4 so put 4 minus x2 is 2 into fx3 and we have got the value of fx3 as minus 0 0.1583 and now put the value of fx2 4 minus minus 0 0.1583 and on solving this you will get x4 is equal to 1.8548 now find the value of fx4 that is 1.8548 and you will get uh, now on solving this in putting in the value in the equation you will get 0 0.0192 which is less than 0 now uh, we have to solve two to two, two, three more steps until uh, after uh, after decimal these three number comes common so let's move toward the third root and uh, as you can see we have got the value of uh, x4 which is which was 1.8548 and 2 which is upper limit so we have we need to find the fifth root and again the fifth root is going to be the same which is used as the formula x4 fx2 x2 is the upper limit so its value will not change so f2 will remain coming in each and every term and this is going to be f n minus 1 x n minus 1 this is x n and this is x n minus 1 minus x2 fx4 by fx2 minus fx4 now on solve on putting the value uh, and solving this you will get x4 is equal to 1.8548 into fx2 fx2 means 4 minus x2 into 2 fx4 fx4 is minus 0 0.0192 by fx2 yeah it means 4 minus minus 0 0.0192 and you will you have got the answer which is minus 0 point uh, sorry this is 1.8554 and solving this you will get this now find f 1.8554 and on solving this you will get minus 0 0.00453 which is less than 0 now find the fourth root fourth root lies 
between 1.8554 and 2 so x6 will be given as x6 is equal to x5 fx2 minus x2 fx5 by fx2 minus fx5 now put the value of x5 and the value of x5 is 1.8554 into fx2 fx2 means 4 minus x2 2 into fx5 minus 0 0.0045 and uh, by 4 minus minus 0 0.0045 on solving this you will get 1.8 Five five, and you can see here after decimal three terms are similar means we have got the answer so the real root of equation x to the power 4 minus x minus 10 is equal to 0 is 1.855 correct up to 3 decimal place and uh, i hope this video was helpful to all of you guys uh, do like and share if this video was helpful and uh, if you want to get more videos related to civil engineering then do subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day